accepted. And today is a day where really warm my heart. And these are the reasons why I really love music. To just know that I was able to just take out my mom today and buy whatever she wanted to eat, whatever she wanted, ice cream, food. Yo, damn, if she even wanted, you know, something more than that, like, it was possible. Like, that's what really warmed my heart because I've put this woman through a lot growing up, you know, not purposefully, but, you know, we, 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 as a young man, you know, becoming a man is not the easiest road, you know what I mean? There's many things you have to say and do and, you know, try to do that. Might never come off as what you want it, but to just be in this moment, like, Left my mother yard, 2010, 2011, 2012, them time there. Now I was about 2010. I just said 12 for the sake of it. I know 10 years later, I'm just able to have my mother and my father outside. You know, people I take picture and my mother just proud, you know, like I walk in a town and people just stop and I say, wow, and your mother this year, it was a good, it's good you to raise it, mama. And you know, where well, well, God is place we get like food and you have to go in the reservation and me they go follow the rules but as I step in one of the people they want to the place to me and say yo that's black hero and them just create a table for me and that just make my mother feel good because initially it's not like say my parents never believe in me it's just like them couldn't see it because I never ever ever even to the shelter to me say you know say you never used to sing at the yard I never ever see you being a singer you know and, a, and an artist and and to the chef, just look at me and say, I'm glad you, you, you saw your dream all the way through. And that just melted me. That was better than any Grammy I could have ever received, you know? If you see my father just did there, sit down as a, as a man who is very concerned about life and as a ghetto youth and a man who never finished school and college and them things, if you just know, say, yeah, man, kick back on my son and deal with this right now. You know what I mean? It was a, it was a, it's just a different moment. And my father used to say, like, if I'm able to do something like that, do it. Like, take care of your mom. If your dad was your mom, and if your mom was your dad, anything you want to say, anybody that's that person in your life, that guardian, that motherly figure, that energy, you need to, like, make sure that them, you know, you return that energy any way you can. You can never pay back your mom. You can never pay back your mama, ever. Like, but I really feel like, I mean, if you have the opportunity to do it, like, you know, music has afforded me the opportunity to just be able to just do that. And, and I feel so much better for it and so much, and different. And, and, and I feel emotional, which I should, you know what I mean? Because it's like, that's my mom, yo. I would fucking get her the moon if I could, or the sun, or some stars, you know what I mean? So just to see her happy and content with just what what we were able to do today and the vibe and just the love and the energy and to see my little brother and my father and everybody just there just watching me be the man, you know, that, that, I'm, I'm just happy I was able to do that. I was happy that I'm able to just take care of my mother and even if it's just on today or on our birthday or even in our regular day today, if we're just able to, you know, make her proud, as proud as we can, like, like, you know, my mother is a, like, my parents, not just my mother, but my parents, but my mother especially, they're so loving and they're so kind and they're like the realest people I've ever met, you know, they've helped people in positions with, without ever getting anything in return. They spend their lives on people, they've, they've, I feel like all the blessings that they've worked hard for has fallen on me. None of this is making no sense. A little, little black youth from Waterford shouldn't be on Vogue, shouldn't be on these different platforms, shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I feel like this is all their blessings. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. Do it more often too. Every day, like, do something more often too. You see me? That's what I really mean to say. Like, not just on a birthday and that. But even if you only can do it on a day, I get that too. That for many years, I felt bad. I felt horrible not being able to do anything. You know what I mean? Being hungry and starving and being homeless. And when these days would come, I would have to just give an excuse. You know, so I understand how it feels to not be able to can do that now. But if you can, do something every day, you see me? 
but I know how it feels to not be able to do anything for birthdays, even on a regular basis, just to help out. I know that feel like, and until you get to that point, don't beat yourself up because I used to. But otherwise, than that, as I was saying, is like, you know what I mean? The energy that my parents put out into the universe, I feel like it's just falling on me. I feel like, you know what I mean? I've never been hurt, never been in a fight, never been robbed, never been, you know what I mean? And it's how I carry myself to my mama, my father, and my dad is really good people. Like, them reason with me, and when I grew up, I would tell them about the wrongs about life. My mother used to teach me about sex early out, so I'm never really frightened for sex when we start out there. You know what I mean? My mother is a, re is a cancer mother, like Kanye mother. She just, them just on you. See, cancer mothers, them on you. Them just now make you get a chance to say, oh, you never learned this, yes, sir. You see me? And I just feel good for now. So today, thanks to music, especially, I'm just able to be the man at home. You know what I mean? For take care or just for go somewhere and, you know, I never need to call nobody for do this or do that. I just get up and say, this is how I do. You know, pick up my mother, drop her home, take her go somewhere nice. And it's just not the fact of giving or doing or buying any that is what makes me feel good. It's just the fact that during this whole thing, she was able to look at me and say, Yo, you know, say, I'm glad you pursue your dreams. I'm glad you never met, not even me stop it. And I say, Yo, that just sent me to the roof. No, no, I feel like, you know, I feel like I want a million dollars. I feel like everything after this now is just this, the, the, the icing. Now the real icing start. Like, now it's like fucking hell. Oh my God. Now I can just do music and be free and be happy. And just the vibe of we out in public. And, you know, I never really usually post up my mom and uh, my family on Instagram. But just to know that it's on a level now where I can go out and people will not only protect and look out for me, but look out for my mother base and just. What I do, that's a good vibe. It's a great vibe. You know, my mother get, you know, when they buy something like a shrimp pasta and some shrimp thing, I get six piece. My mother get 12 piece of shrimp today for no extra cost. Them thing they may talk about. <laughs> you see me, just the vibes, the energy, man. Just, just, just today is an awesome day, and I hope, you know, condolences to those who, like, the mother's here anymore. Keep making a pro. Keep doing the right thing. Keep, keep the same energy. Don't fall. Don't feel bad when these days do come around. You know what I mean? Like, just do, just improve, just make them proud. You know what I mean? And for those who have the appearance here with, with them, don't take it for granted. Don't like feel like this is gonna be here forever. One thing is guaranteed is transitioning from this this place, isn't it? And I want to leave here knowing, I want my parents to leave here knowing that I cared and I loved. So for those, as I said, whose mothers and parents aren't here, condolences and keep pushing yourself. Push that limit. Make them proud. Them are pretty. Them are help you. You know, helping hands where you can't see. So just keep working. And as I say, once your, your parents are still alive, your mother is still here, especially, I would advise you to just do the best you can for them. I'm not trying to put your heart where you can't reach it, but just be the, do the best you can for them. You know what I mean? Um, and do the best you can for yourself too, you know what I mean, yeah. And this is all energy, these are things that, this go beyond making a million dollars, this goes beyond a bag, this goes beyond being, you know, a rich, a mom, go out there, but this is beyond all of that. Taking care of your family and mother is something personal. There's like a personal bar. Let's say there's two bars, right? Meters and you have fooled them up for be the perfect person in life or whatever the fuck. There's no perfect person, but you get what I mean? The first bar is, the things that people see, that the things you success and the accomplishments, then the other thing now are going to be the personal accomplishments, the thing that nobody sees, isn't it? And it's like that bar is all about love, it's all about being a better son, daughter, auntie, uncle, brother, nephew, godfather, godmother. Though that bar is the things that you do and nobody sees, that you have to take time out, you literally have to sacrifice time to fill that bar, that personal accomplishment bar. And building a relationship with your parents, once you're good like that, once they're still alive, is a part of that personal bar. The other bar is for success and riches and doing the be doing things that people can't see. The shit you post on Instagram and talk about. But this other bar, this personal bar, it's all about these days, the mother's days, the the, 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 the love days, the, the birthdays, the you know the anniversaries, the, the relationship shit. Like, dude, you know what I mean? So today I feel like 
that bar just, you know, my mom, the energy, man. I, I, I really love it. I love the vibes today, you see me? Man, I see my first member, I see my father, I smile, so yo. Like, my father, not really, you know, if if your parents are like almost 60 now or in the 50s, even the 40s, you know that they are like cut from a different cloth. They're more serious, they're more like, you know, them the techno chat, them very autocratic and authoritative and man of yard, you know. First, me ever see my father laugh, so like, name is a jovial you, don't get it wrong anymore. You know, me mean like, when all of us sit down as a family, I first man see my laugh, so, you know, we all a hug and, you know, on a mother's day too, so the vibes, just to show you the vibes, you see me like, I love them day, I'm a love, say, thanks to all of my hard work, it never go in vain, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, bills are for pay and shit, but just to be able to take care of my mom, I feel like that's how, this is how our music is, you know? about i swear like for just to care your family whatever you're passionate about your dreams i think that's what it's all about to be comfortable and to make the people you love comfortable this is a long ass rant i don't know why i'm doing this right now on the live and i'm also tired of me i know but i just i try to share energy you know what i mean family see that is everything and for years i used to put that on the back burner to make sure my the accomplishments bar is up, yeah. Best writer, ah, oh, artist of the year, ah, oh, boom, win this, ah, oh, streams, millions of streams, all oh, fans, ah, oh, that's the, uh, that's the other bar. This bar of personal stuff, your personal life, I really feel like there's like, damn it, bill for that, you see me? Mm -hmm. So, as I said, if your, your mom is not alive, condolences to everybody out there. Mama call me. Early this morning, asking how you doing, son. I lied, said I'm doing fine, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I want yeah, yeah. to tell you, yeah. You're there, they're not to tell, but for not beneath this, you want to. Hey, thanks, Ma, you're so sweet, my mama. She's more than nine months. Oh, yeah, she's great advice. She ages like wine, yeah, yeah. Mommy, you, yeah. You're more than nine months, yeah, yeah. Mama, I got to love to love you, cause you made me so. I got to make you live more comfortable, like the Oxtables. Feet cock up, bills paid, nothing worry about. I know, I don't pass you as much as you want me. Is it my big up mother them man? Love them, honor them. You know? My mom is definitely responsible for it, why I'm here. Not just from the birthing aspect, but my mom is also a fashion designer, isn't me? And she's also a seamstress. And anything to do with clothing and textile and stuff, she have like degrees in and everything there, isn't me? So she's really good with, with, with that part of the cloth, like the in industry, like entertainment. I used to sit in my mom's, like, room where she do her like her office and just watch her put things together color coordination contrast you know texture feelings like you know um these things are what she learned and she just uh, teach me this as a youth means to help her cut her clothes and things so it's not a coincidence right now i kind of have an idea when it comes to putting things together yeah me have stylists for videos big up us on the up on the live big up shams them are people where, get pieces from it but putting together things is really my like that's my thing like yo all right but my wear this with this and it comes so natural that i'm a mother you know not being helpless my mother have two boys come from my mother like she teach her for cook clean wash everything me want to get up right now and clean up whole house from top to but switch up organize me can't do that if my want to cook something right now she teach me that you know i mean home deal with women is directly how must my parents or my mother and my father live, especially my mother. You know what I mean? The, that, those are the type of women I'm actually attracted to. Women that have a certain maturity, have a certain love and compassion for not just themselves, but for others. My mom is a direct, you know, thing that made me who me is. You know what I mean? For sure. My father's there, but your mother's there. He don't know if he thing though. Mm. All him, first thing he says, him coming and I care about, no, don't just smoke it, no, don't just smoke it. I'm like, Really? 
I have the same name to your voice. That would do a lot, you know what I mean? Yeah. And go back in the hyperbolic chamber now, you know. Yeah. You don't know before the live, but I make sure that people know that new music right around the corner. Yeah, man. <laughs>